brutally hot race. Several Boston Marathon runners tonight are still in serious condition. Our Kimberly Bookman is live at Newton Wellesley Hospital. And Kimberly, you spoke to a runner who has no regrets about putting himself at risk. Yeah, Ed, he says he would do it all over again, even though he ended up right here. This guy was in such bad shape, he actually had to be submerged in an ice bath. He was taken to the ICU, and now he's staying here for day number two. I had some short shortness of breath, which wasn't the usual for me. As IVs pump fluids into him, three-time marathoner Vincent Clossy recalls the run that put him in this Newton Wellesley hospital bed. My feet were heavy. And it was putting me off trying to talk, and I got confused. It was like someone was speed walking, they were all going past me. Vincent came all the way from Dublin, Ireland to run the Boston Marathon with his father and brother. He didn't think the weather should stop them. You have to push yourself. What doesn't kill you will only make you stronger. But the heat did almost kill this fit 29 year old. He passed out at mile 14, had a body temperature of 105, and suffered heat stroke. He was one of 2,800 runners needing medical treatment yesterday. Nine are still in critical condition. A fact that the chief medical officer at Newton Wellesley finds concerning. We've got to, in this day, day and age, prepare times to run this that are a little bit more consistent with what the human body can tolerate. It's tough, you know. Yeah. I had never felt that before. And we called the Boston Athletic Association to figure out whether or not they ever even looked into changing the start time of the race. They say they did consider it, but because of logistics, it just simply wasn't possible. Reporting live from Newton Wellesley Hospital, Kimberly Bookman, New Center 5.